So another conversation about snowdrops. As you can see, there's a decent clump of snowdrops right here. Now, when I came home about, oh, 20, in and around 25 years ago, there was no snowdrops underneath this beech tree. And I put four or five that I broken up snowdrop clumps here around the base. So this is about 20 years worth of multiplying of what the snowdrops are doing. Now, last year there were some bigger piles in here and I um, divided those up and I've slowly been dividing the original ones that I put under here out in this direction. So you can see these are clumps of snowdrops. There's one or two and given time you can see there's more clumps underneath coming through the leaves and every year I break up the clumps a little bit more a little bit more so you can see these are this clump is about three years old maybe and then if we come all the way out here let's see last year and oh, that's uh, an original clump last year I put single ones down all the way over here there we go there they are so there's a single snowdrop that's another single snowdrop so in 10 years those will practically meet what are you doing as they bunch up and all in here I put singles there's some more singles right here these are more singles that are coming up so snowdrops are really, really easy to multiply. And you can see some of these are clumps that I divided just as clumps, but I find it's longer lasting to divide and plant singly. And this is only the beginning of them opening up. There's lots of other clumps in there. You can see clumps there and there and there, and there's another clump there. So my aim is in, let's say, seven or eight years, this whole area will be white with snowdrops come snowdrop season this time of year. You can see these were, these were singular ones that were divided out about two or three years ago. So I just choose a clump that I'm gonna divide and this year, I think this is the clump. I'll divide that clump and spread it out all in here where there aren't as many snowdrops. So it's just dividing and dividing and dividing, constantly dividing. So in about 10 or 15 years, this will be like a cloud of snowdrops. That's the idea and it takes time. And these snowdrops all in here are from the two different kinds that my grandfather brought home. One is from Serbia, which is the, these are the smaller Serbian ones. They bloom late. And then these bigger ones here are Russian ones. These are Russian snowdrops, both of which my grandfather brought back after he'd been teaching out in English, out in Russia and Serbia in the 1920s and 30s. So it's a mixture of the Russian and Serbian snowdrops in this plantation. So none of these were bought in. They were brought in by my grandfather rising on close to um, nearly a hundred years ago at this stage. So that 
is the snowdrop story under this beech tree. And when I came home, there were none here. So I've been slowly multiplying them. And that's one of the things I'm kind of aiming to do. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, whoop, gone. There we go, snowdrops. Isn't that right, bear? Oh, and we're starting to plant them around that ash tree and going on from that. So the snowdrops will be a blanket coming in like that when you're coming up the driveway. And we're also gonna, those snowdrops there, we're gonna make those all snowdrops as well. It all takes time.